Four days after a devastating wildfire destroyed 19 homes, CAL FIRE is still not saying a lot about the person who was driving the car that started that blaze. And people who were forced from their homes are still looking for some answers. KCRA 3 Shark in Shams joining us live now from Plymouth in Amador County with more. And Galston and any witnesses say that fire started on this hill behind Bell Road here in Plymouth, in the area where you see white patches next to the road that's up at the top of the hill. Now, we know it was started by a car that pulled over dry grass, but four days later, some people are still making their way back home, and even the ones who have a home to go back to are in tears. Oh, my God. Thank you. Good. We were with Miles Matlack today as he saw his home on Freshwater Lane for the first time in four days. It's, it's an absolute miracle. It's a wonderful moment. He says the first indication he'd had that his house just might be saved was when he saw aerial footage from Live Copter 3 on KCRA. There was a big tanker here, there was a fire truck there, there was a fire truck there, and, and you could see spray coming out of the trees. My whole family, we were all together, and we, everybody was high fiving and screaming hallelujah. Matlack says it wasn't just fire crews, but years of his own work that saved his home. He's president of the local Firewise Committee, which teaches others to create defensible space around their houses. CAL FIRE has also been talking about the importance of defensible space, but as for its investigation, the agency wouldn't reveal much about the person who was driving this car. Footage from Livecopter 3 shows the vehicle that officials say started the fire by pulling over into dry grass. Friday. Are you thinking that it was purely accidental or could somebody be cited here? You know, I, I, that's not for me to say. That's the investigators. Like I said, they're still doing their investigation. So. But I mean, um, four days later, they haven't told you anything about where their investigation is taking them? Generally, with investigations, um, you want to have all your, your ducks in a row and everything lined up. They're not going to give too much away until they, you know, they're confident with the exact cause. Bless that guy. I hope he's going to be okay in the end. He'll. It's a tremendous learning lesson. You know, he's got to live the rest of his life, or her, or whoever it was. Yeah, as those structures hit, there's a, a lot. Now back out here live, those who did lose their homes did not want to talk about their loss today. Understandably, there is one area that remains under evacuation. It is on the east end of the fire. Painted Pony Road and Dwyer Road are still both under evacuation orders in Amador County. We're live here in Amador County. I'm Sharif Nishams, KCRA 3 News. All right, Sharif, thanks for that.